Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TechGeek webinar series, our endeavor to empower techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key to enhance our skills and grow us as professionals. With this principle in mind, we have initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give you all a crisp insight of various domains. The topic of today's session is Aerospace System Integration and Testing, Pushing the Limits. Our guest speaker today is Mr. Dave Ranson, Managing Director at MOOC India Technology Center. Dave Ranson began his aerospace industry career in 1981 with Moog Incorporation. In the ensuing 30 plus years, he has been responsible for developing leading edge technology for several major aircraft programs. Fifteen of those years, he has worked as a senior manager, leading the design, development and qualification of flight critical aircraft components with responsibilities spanning the US, UK, Brazil and India. Dave is a professional mechanical engineer registered in the state of California. His education includes a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering from the University of Southern California, an MS in Mechanical Engineering from the State University of New York at Buffalo and a Presidential MBA degree from Pepperdine University. As, man as Managing Director of the MOOC India Technology Center, Dave has guided the development of critical engineering competencies and a qualification test laboratory as well as achieving AS9100 certification. Current projects include embedded flight control software and electronics, flight control actuation components, and qualification testing for the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. Moog's India Technology Center is now a center of innovation for key technologies that support aerospace, automotive, and industrial controls. So without further delay, I introduce you all to a guest speaker. Over to you, Mr. Nansen. Valuable for you. I'd like to make this time valuable for each of you. I'm looking forward to sharing a little bit about the aerospace industry and also about possible careers in aerospace. Today we're going to focus on aerospace systems and integration and the testing, pushing the limits. Before we start though, I have a very important question for the engineers and the engineering students listening today. Your answer to that question could have a profound effect on your future. Why did you choose engineering instead of another profession? I'd like you to think about that while we're talking. Careers in aerospace. To get us started, I'd like you to think about, uh, I'd like to give you some context for our discussion. During my 30 years of aerospace experience, I've been involved with four different aerospace companies, and I've enjoyed being with each of them. I'd like to share some of the things I've learned as we talk today. Also, I'd like to uh, talk just briefly about Moog, the company I'm with today, to give you some understanding of the company. It's about 11,000 employees uh, worldwide in 28 countries, uh, 2.3 billion in sales U.S. last year and uh, probably over 2.4 billion this year. Moog is a worldwide designer, manufacturer, and integrator of precision motion controls. And that involves innovative technology solutions that show up everywhere. As you can see in this slide, there are applications of Moog solutions from military aircraft to space vehicles and even to the retractable dome at Wimbledon. While we're waiting for the next slide to come up, I'll just... Aerospace is a challenge because it brings together uh, key engineering disciplines to develop complex test systems 
And specifically today, we'll be talking about the extreme demands of aerospace and the complex test systems that support it. In aerospace, the drive is always for faster, lighter, stronger, and less costly in extremely cold and extremely hot environments. It's never an easy job. It requires engineers from almost every domain, mechanical, electrical, software. It requires control theory. All of these working together toward a common goal using a systems engineering approach. So let's go back to the question I asked you earlier. Why did you choose engineering instead of another profession? Your answer to that question will help 